Assalamu alaikum once again with Sayyid Kashif Mahmood in this lecture I am going to talk about J Newland who was J Newland J Newland was an English chemist what he has done he said that when elements are arranged in increasing order of the atomic masses he said that if you arrange the elements in such a way that if you are going from left side to the right side the atomic masses of the elements will get increased let's suppose we are going from lithium so lithium having atomic mass 7 beryllium having 9 boron having 11 carbon having 12 nitrogen having 14 oxygen having 16 so you are if you analyze this so this is the increasing order of atomic masses so if you he, he said that if if you arrange the elements in such a way that there is the increasing order of the atomic masses so then the properties of the eighth element are a repetition of the properties of the first element he said if you are going in such a way so the eighth element will have the properties just similar with the first one let's let's give few examples so that our concept get clear we are taking lithium as the first element beryllium as the second boron as the third carbon 4 nitrogen 5 oxygen 6 fluorine 7 and sodium 8 so according to his rule the sodium will having the same properties just like that of lithium magnesium will have the same qualities are the same properties just like that of beryllium if you go further potassium will have the same properties just like of sodium calcium will have the same properties just like of magnesium chlorine will have the same properties just like of fluorine and we know that this is true because lithium sodium and potassium all of these three belong to same group called alkali metal we also know that the beryllium magnesium and calcium also belong to same group called alkaline earth metal as well as we also know that the fluorine and chlorine also belong to a same group called halogens now the question is what are alkali metal what are alkaline earth metal and what are halogens we will answer all these questions in next videos for now just only remember the names so his rule was that the eight element will have the same properties just like of the first one he call it actives we know that actives is a latin word which mean eight and we know that the properties getting repeat after the eighth one the element number eight like sodium in case of lithium magnesium in case of beryllium chlorine in case of fluorine and why he named he named it actives because we know that there is eight musical notes which are like sa re ga ma pa da ni sa so his work is also look just similar like the musical notes called actives that's why he call it actives now let's discuss some of the advantages of j newland work the first advantage was that this law gives a basis for the classification of an elements this law really show us that how we can classify the elements which elements having similar properties 
those elements which are having similar properties how we have to manage that or how we have to arrange that into groups of elements like he has done in this way he make the groups of elements which are having similar properties so it was one of the best work or one of the best advantage of the jane evelyn work the second advantage was that this system work quite better for lighter element it really work best for the lighter element like fluorine chlorine lithium sodium potassium beryllium magnesium calcium etc so this system really work best for the lighter element it really show exact properties of these lighter elements now after discussing the advantages of j newland classification let's also mention some of the drawbacks or disadvantages or the merits the first one was he could arrange element only up to calcium so this is the limitation of his work he said that the eight number element will always having the properties just similar with the first one like in case of chlorine so chlorine will have the same properties that of fluorine potassium will have the same properties that of sodium calcium will have the same properties that of magnesium but if you analyze his classification or his work is only applicable till calcium if you proceed from the calcium so his classification or his work will never work let's suppose if we are taking zinc so zinc do not having the same properties that of calcium because they do not belong to same group let's take potassium and copper they also having different properties because both of them belong to different groups so it was the one drawback the second drawback was that he placed two elements in the same position we know that every elements need a separate place but he placed two elements in same position like he placed cobalt and nickel in same position he placed cerium and lanthanum in same position so it was the second drawback the third drawback is the periodic table did not include noble gases actually genuland did not left any vacant space for the undiscovered elements he said that on earth only these element exist so in his time the noble gases were not discovered so he did not left any space for the noble gases and we know that in our modern periodic table we are having noble gases but the genuine did not left any space for this so it was the drawbacks of genuine and let's take one more we know that cobalt and nickel having same properties with iron but he place cobalt nickel at one place and iron in a very far place which is one of the another drawback of j newland work so it was a short talk on j newland work in next videos we will proceed this history so thanks a lot for watching and your love